Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're making a video on making a contact on a repeater. So I got my repeater programmed into my bow thing here. That's what we did the last video. And uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and make try to make a contact. So first thing I'm gonna do is just say my call sign and that I'm listening. So this is KD9YWF, listening. Alright, so you heard someone come back, now I'm just going to have a conversation with them. Hey Sandy, my name's Henry, and I am in Dodgeville, uh, DeForest. Yeah, that's not too far away. Uh, you're making the repeater very nicely. Um, I'm just here making a YouTube video on making a contact on a repeater. Um, in my first video, I did a video on how to program a repeater into your ball fang, and now I'm doing a how to make a contact. WB9FDZ Repeater. Roger that. Yeah, this repeater up in the Baraboo Bluffs has got a really nice footprint. So, well, with that, I guess I'll say 7-3 for now. I'll be back on the repeater later, but just wanted to make a YouTube video on making a contact and show everybody that it's not really that hard to do. But uh, thank you, and 7-3, I'll be clear on your final. Seven three. So there you go, guys. Um, simple. Don't need to be worried about it at all. Just go on a repeater. Say, this is KD nine YWF or your call sign. Listening. Don't use my call sign. That's illegal. Um, but yeah, just say listening. No one comes back to you. Say, is there anyone on this repeater available to make a Q cell? It's not that hard. And, you know, I had Mike Freight at first, but after you talk to people for a little bit, it just completely goes away and it's second nature. So get on that repeater, make some contacts. 7-3, don't let the bands die, keep them alive. This is KD9YWF. <laughs> 